Let's look at the mechanism of accommodation. How does the lens change its shape? Now, our hero over here is the ciliary muscle. Okay. The ciliary muscle contracts or relaxes depending on whether your eye is seeing a clear image or a blurred image. So, at another point you have to remember is that the action of ciliary muscle is always opposite to that of the zonules. Okay, so that means if my ciliary muscle is relaxed, zonules are stretched. So, when the zonules stretch, the lens also stretches with the zonules and becomes flattened and helps in focusing objects that are far away. Okay, so when the ciliary muscle is relaxed, the zonules stretch. Their action is always opposite to each other. And when the zonules are stretched, the lens flattens and focuses distant objects. Conversely, when I am having a blurred vision, my ciliary muscle contracts and my zonules relax. So, when my zonules relax, the lens becomes more rounded. There is no stretch on the lens, so it also relaxes. So, it becomes more rounded and helps in focusing the near objects. That is the principle of near vision and accommodation. So, just to summarize again, the ciliary muscles action controls is controlled by the clarity of our vision. So, when I have a clear vision, my ciliary muscle has nothing to do. So, it relaxes. So, my zonules contract and I can look at a distant object. Similarly, when the eye is having a blurred vision, the ciliary muscle contracts and the zonules relax. Hence, the lens becomes more rounded and I have a clear near vision. Okay. The mnemonic that will help you to remember is CCC. Ciliary muscle contracts for close vision. Okay. CCC, ciliary muscle contracts for close vision. 